Hello, welcome to the W Mason Coach Report with head women's lacrosse coach Shannon Smith. Welcome, Coach. Thanks for having me. Coach, let's recap last week, a 14-day loss at New Hampshire. Just recap overall the game from your eyes. Yeah, it, it was a little bit rough. I think we got off to a really slow start in the beginning of the game. Uh, Uni scored a couple of really quick goals on us in the first seven minutes of that first half, and I don't think we were ever able ever to recover. Um, offensively, I think once we were down by four or five goals, we tried to force a lot, um, which resulted in a lot of turnovers. I think you know a, a positive that we can take away was we did well in the draw controls. We just turned the ball over on the offensive side of the field. So you know we expected to grow in pains this year because we are really young. But we're looking to, we had a, we're having a really tough week in practice this week and hopefully getting our team prepared because our, our focus is now on Harvard. Yeah, you mentioned that it was 3 nothing, rough, about five minutes in. Did you feel like your, your players were trying to dig themselves out of that hole the whole contest? I, I think we were, and I don't think that we were tough enough, to mentally tough enough or prepared, um, especially with the weather, to dig ourselves out of that hole. I think it was a little bit of a shock um, that we were down that quickly. Um, and credit, all the credit to UNH, I think they came out strong. I think they came out excited. It was their first game of the season, a home game, and, and they really pushed the ball on us in, in transition, and it was really hard for us to recover. Despite the loss, you had a couple solid performances. Uh, Lindsay Alfano, solid game all around, a goal to draw controls, to cause turnovers. Uh, can you talk about her efforts? Yeah, Lindsay did well for us in, in the midfield, and, and she's going to be you know, a focal point for us this year in the midfield. And um, you know, But this week we're, we're challenging, and we, we need more from her. We need her to play better. And although that she did you know, little pieces correct, I think she could have played a better full 60 minutes. And we're really relying on that midfield. As a unit, I'm challenging them because we need more from you know, the seniors of Lindsay and, and Becky Canto, and you know, we need more from Amanda Seacamp, the two sophomores, Amanda Seacamp and Drew Shapiro. So just really challenging them this week, um, and hopefully hopefully they come out with a, with a better game for us against Harvard, both offensively and defensively. Speaking of Lindsay's, Lindsay Scott, your graduate transfer from North Carolina, uh, three goals and an assist against UNH. Is that kind of what you're, you, you talked about her in the preseason, is being an offensive force. Did you get out of her when you thought you were kind of going to get out of her? Yeah, I mean, she had opportunities and she took them to dodge hard, but I think that our, like I said, I think our offense as, as a whole can do a lot better, and I think that Lindsay Scott can play better as well. I think she, she did what she needed to do and, and was able to do, uh, just because there wasn't a lot of movement on offense, there was a lot of turnovers, but um, when she did have the ball and opportunities to dodge, she did put her shots away and finish them for us, so I think she's, she's only going to get better as she gets accustomed to playing in lacrosse games with us. That was her first lacrosse game in a Hofstra uniform as well. So I'm expecting a big season from her, um, and I think she's really just getting used to playing with the offense. Now you mentioned draw controls earlier. Five draw controls with Drew Shapiro. Just talk, is, uh, is that her to be one of her roles this year moving forward? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we moved Drew to, to the midfield on, on the circle for us on the draw controls. Uh, she's just really quick. Um, she's a great first step, and uh, you know I think that she'll that'll be big for us. She's really you know feisty in there on on ground ball scrums, and uh, I think that that's going to be a big picture for us. And we also need we need her to score goals for us this year. We need her to finish for us. Um, and defensively, she's been playing good one on one defense just because she her athletic ability is is pretty phenomenal. And then a uh, freshman Lexi Lenahan with two goals in the. Uh, game against the Wildcats. Uh, talk about her production. Yeah, I think we were really impressed by Lexi. She came off the bench for us, and, and it was it was cold when we played UNH. So I think for a freshman to come off the bench when when you're cold because you're just standing there, um, and in your first game and in a away game to put two goals away for us uh, is pretty impressive. So we we're really happy by her performance, and we're hoping that that was a boost of confidence for her going forward for the season. You never want to take too many pauses out of a loss, but. Can a loss like that obviously a blessing in disguise that happens so early in the year? I, I think it, you, you said it. I, I think it was a blessing in disguise. I'd rather have these issues now in the beginning of the season and rather than at the end of March or in April. Um, we want to get these mistakes out now. We want to, you know, watch the game film, learn from these experiences, especially since we are so young, to get these experiences now against these great teams that we're playing in our non-conference schedule is only going to help us as we move forward. Uh, one game on the schedule this week. You host Harvard on Saturday, your home opener at 12 noon at James M. Short Stadium. What kind of uh, team does Harvard bring here? 
Harvard is very well coached, um, and, and they have everyone returning from last year, so I, I think that's a challenge. Um, you know, they, they added a great freshman class as well. They're really fast in the midfield. They're, they're fast and athletic offensively, and they move the ball very well um, and play together as a team. So I think defensively, a focus for us that we struggled with was, was playing with emotion and communicating. So that's going to be something that we're really going to rely on them. We need them to con communicate, and we need them to buy into to what our defensive game plan is. And then offensively, we're going to have to move the ball because Harvard plays a, a tough defense. Um, they're very physical, so we're going to have to move the ball, draw the double team, and then hit the ball to the backside to allow us to have those opportunities and goals in front of the cage. Um, so overall, everyone's going to have to do their job, and um, we're going to have to communicate on the field and, and play with emotion and be excited that's our first home game. You touched on it, but what specifically are the keys to victory this weekend? Um, communication, uh, playing with emotion, and we, we need to not turn over the ball. We're going to have to win the draw controls and then possess the ball on the attack side of the field. First of two straight home games, you host Fairfield next Saturday. Uh, good luck this weekend, Coach. Thank you. And thank you for joining us today on the W. Mason Coach Report with Head Women's Lacrosse Coach Shannon Smith.